Look what we have here. We are harvesting bananas straight out of the orchard. The apple on the left, on my left, and the ice cream on my right. This is what you want, a nice, robust harvest coming out of your orchard. We're gonna talk about this and the other fruits that are coming out of the orchard in December. Let's go. Sahara is now two years old and she's getting really good at her visual commands. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you a bonus clip of baby Sahara trying to live up to her Rhodesian Ridgeback roots of being a lion tamer. So stick around for that. Let's start off with the apples. Isn't this gorgeous? This is a Granny Smith that came out of the orchard. And you've got to have apples as part of your fall and winter fruits. They grow so well in so many different climates and many varieties are late season. So it's something that you've got to have as part of the rotation. And this is the Granny Smith tree on the left next to the pink lady that was on the right. And this one is still on the tree. It's going to make it into the new year, into 2024. The inter interesting thing about grannies is that as they get older, they start becoming more yellow and they become more sweeter. So the longer it hangs on the tree, the sweeter it gets. This is another great variety. It's a red Fuji. And again, the longer you leave it on the tree, the redder it gets, the sweeter it tastes. It will hold into December and another great winter fruit for your orchard. Now, for some reason, mangoes in Florida, as they wrap up around July, maybe August. But for us in California, mangoes are late. And in Southern California, we get mangoes that hold onto the tree into December, January, into winter. And here is the last one on my tree that just came off a ice cream that was absolutely delicious. So this is a surprise, is a blackberry. Blackberries in winter have no idea why they're doing this, but they're going through the cycle where they're flowering and fruiting and then repeating the cycle. But hey, we'll take it. We're getting great tasting blackberries into winter. And uh, just look at this, guys. Look at these guys. They're beautiful, beautiful looking fruit. Healthy, vibrant colors, and they are tasting very yummy. Blackberries in winter. Now, I've talked about passion fruit a lot in other videos, but just take in the spectacular flowers of these passion fruit. This is a Frederick variety. Look at the purple and the yellow and the white, and they're just really beautiful flowers. And so all year round, we're getting flowers and then we're getting fruit and then we're getting flowers and we're getting fruit again. And, uh, you know, I just like to take a moment to really appreciate the spectacular colors that are exhibited in this fruit, in this plant. So those flowers, that video was shot around late October, early November. And now here in December, going into January, we've got passion fruit again, once again, and tons of them. They're falling all over the place. They call this the, um, the Easter egg plant or vine because they will literally fall off the tree. You don't have to worry about them. They're so, the shell is so hard that it protects it from any sort of damage or insects. And uh, you come out into the orchard and you find these plants, these, these, these little Easter eggs on the ground that you can pick up and harvest right off the ground. And uh, just love the durability of them, love how prolific they are, and uh, great, great fruit and plant to have in winter. All right, here we are with my favorite fruit, the pomegranate. And uh, these are fall fruit that will hang on the tree a pretty long time. See that crack there? That is a, tr a pomegranate fruit that is at its peak ripeness when it cracks open. It's not going to get any better, any sweeter than that. I like to catch it right there before it gets too split open. Look what happens when it gets split open here. Insects can get in there and, you know, I won't really eat it if it's really cracked to that point. But right before it, it splits wide open, it starts to crack. Perfect time to grab a pomegranate and they will hang on the tree until December. 
here we are with the bananas and uh, you saw these me carrying these loads of bananas very heavy um, nice rack four different racks look at this count them off one two right there and we'll go over to the third one in this pod these are the ice cream variety tastes kind of like a dessert like an ice cream custard just incredible incredible flavor um, there's the third one right there look at those and then the fourth one is behind it started cutting a couple of these down it's getting cold they slow up and sometimes stop growing in the winter uh, but again bananas getting bananas in winter winter here in California love it so here's a neat trick when winter comes and the bananas stop growing you can put them in a paper bag and it will speed up the ripening process but look at this guy it is in a store that would look like an old damaged banana but not out of the home orchard that is actually a perfectly perfectly ripe banana perfect for the eating that I'll show you in just a second and here's what it looks like when it's cut open and I cannot tell you how much better this is than a store-bought banana trust me take my word on that miracle berries uh, we had family over for Christmas I gave three berries to three family members gave them some lemons and they devoured those lemons like it was the sweetest thing ever like it was lemon sorbet a great party trick taste it changes your taste buds and we're getting miracle berries in winter now I don't have a ton of tropicals but don't forget about your tropicals when it comes to fruit trees that will fruit in winter this is a Jamaican cherry aka strawberry cherry tree and we are getting some of these berries they taste like little little candy little fruity pebbles um, really really sweet taste and again uh, don't forget about your tropicals your star fruits your atamoyas your uh, ice cream bean trees and various other type of tropical trees if you can grow them in your region most of the challenges growing tropicals is going to be the cold um, but uh, they're another way to get fruit into the winter so don't forget about those and here is my Jamaican cherry tree that's been in the ground for about six months and doing really well so happy about that now I almost forget about lemons because uh, for whatever reason I don't think about lemons um, but they are year-round and they're winter fruits they they fruit just about 365 days out of the year particularly the Eureka variety which is this is a variation of that's called a pink lemonade uh, the one over here on the left is a standard Eureka lemon and then there's a, a lime tree on the right but the Eurekas they will produce just about year-round and uh, again a tree that's going to give you fruit into the fall and winter months as well so don't forget about lemons when you're trying to get fall and winter fruits so that about covers all of the fruit in my orchard that is giving me fruit into the winter months but what we have up next is citrus and look at this that is my grapefruit or a blanco on the left and then that's the tangelo look at that baby that thing is loaded I'm so excited looking forward to it we've got tons of blood oranges the blood oranges right there on the left well, actually that's the Mandarin that is the gold nugget Mandarin right there on the left the uh, blood orange is to the left of that just out of screen and we got the grapefruits and the tangelos January February right around the corner we got the fall fruits the winter fruits to get us through the winter and then we pick that up with uh, the second half of winter with the citrus so that is a way to get successive ripening which is what you want uh, getting fruit year-round think about all the seasons and when the fruit mature you want to space them out so the big tip I can give you to make sure that you have fruit trees that are ripening in the winter months is to actually go to your local mom-and-pop nursery in your neighborhood walk the grounds look at what fruit trees are fruiting in the winter months 
and then speak with the owners, speak with the experienced staff and ask them what are fruit trees that will grow in your area, in your zone, that will actually ripen in the winter months. That's the best thing that you can do to make sure that you get the right fruit trees for those winter months. So hope that helps and good luck with that and happy hunting.